So, the rankings are out. <laughs> Ha 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 ha. All right, let's get started breaking down these rankings really quick because you know it's gonna be good. Uh, there's some juicy stuff in here. Obviously, I only watched the first 15 minutes of the rankings reveal because the rest of it is gonna be a lot of. So let's do this. Let's make this time for ourselves, y'all. Let's make this time for ourselves. You know, get on down here. And talk some college football with me, yours, true big boy variety. So let's get started. Um, number 25 is Appalachian State. Now, obviously, they beat South Carolina. They beat North Carolina. So, and they beat two Power 5 teams. You know, can't say that about UCF, no. <laughs> so I'm guessing because of the... Um, the game that SMU played against East Carolina, that was why they fell out the top 25, which is fine. You know, it's fine. East Carolina played Cincinnati the same way, but they're going to be up a little bit later. Uh, Kansas State, not sure why they're ranked at all. You know, it is what it is, though. Um, they, they, they lost to Texas, and, you know, it is what it is. I guess it's to try and keep Oklahoma in the rankings, but, I mean, who else are you going to really rank? Uh, Navy's at 23. Remember, they have a big game against Notre Dame this week. Maybe that could drop Notre Dame completely out, or maybe could drop out the polls themselves, you know. Remember, keep that name in mind. Oklahoma State is number 22. Um, don't really care. Don't think neither of these two teams, Oklahoma State or Kansas State, should be in the rankings right now. Uh, because both are just kind of mid, honestly. Um, number 21, Boise State. They keep winning. You know, they do what they do um, out there in the Mountain West. Pretty sure they'll be beating San Diego State in the Mountain West Championship, like I said already. Number 20, I mean, I get it that Iowa's still right. But I mean, they've, they've, I get it. They've lost three games by a grand total of like eight points. But they have three losses. Get them out of the ranking. Not sure why we're in the ranking at all. The Longhorns, you know, we have a... You have a bad loss, TCU. Um, TCU is not that good. Um, TCU's honestly kind of mid, just like Oklahoma State, just like Kansas State. You know, and, and, and we're kind of mid, honestly. So we shouldn't even be ranked right now. Looks like the American, you know, the big the big battle between Cincinnati and Memphis. So that's going to be a really good one. They'll probably meet twice in like two weeks um, for the American Championship, which will be great. You know, for them, maybe they could. <sighs> Balance each other out. Notre Dame is at number 16. Don't care. Not at all. Uh, Michigan is number 15. Wisconsin, number 14. Now remember Minnesota. We'll see them right later. They have some big games coming against the Wisconsin. First, they got to play Iowa, though. And if Minnesota can beat Iowa, that should completely get Iowa out of the rankings because Iowa is. They're, they're all, they, I was always been this kind of team that's just kind of there, you know, but they really shouldn't be ranked right now. Uh, Baylor dropped the spot. Not sure why, but they dropped the spot. You know, this is the same Baylor. This is the same TCU team that they beat that beat Texas. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. But okay. Auburn's number 12. Now, if Auburn can beat George this week, um, we, we may be talking about, oh, yeah, well, Auburn, Auburn's, you know, the two-loss team that's going to get into the playoff. Remember, like, last year, a couple of years ago, when, when Auburn had two losses and they and they were still talking about getting into the playoff? Uh, Florida's number 11. They're out. Florida's out, completely out. I do not care what anybody thinks. Out. They're out. Stop it. Um, Oklahoma, after that bad performance against Iowa State, they dropped down to number 10. Penn State falls five spots to number nine. Minnesota. Ha <laughs> PJ Fleck and the Golden Gophers, baby. They're number eight in the nation. They still got a lot of tests to go. Uh, obviously, you know, they could do some damage. And they could shake up what has been some they could shake up what has been some predictable college football playoff, you know, the the the, the final four. If they keep winning. And if they beat Ohio State, which is 
which is a 50 50 honestly you know you gotta you gotta surprise ohio state really really bad uh, utah is number seven in the nine they obviously have a big matchup against ucla this week ucla is no slouch remember that and then then uh top well number five and number six first um Number five is Alabama. <laughs> Alabama. Y'all remember Alabama. Of course, number six is Oregon. They're right in front of Utah right now. But anyway, Alabama, that, that just goes to show you how the committee treats Pac-12. So do I at times. But Oregon also has a big game this week, uh, so they should, they should play well. Uh, but Alabama loses to... They basically get stuck at the Clemson spot. You're not really worthy of a playoff spot right now. I have no idea why Georgia isn't number four. I honestly think that Georgia will lose either this week against A&M, maybe against Georgia Tech, or maybe in the SEC Championship. This team does not deserve number four at all. Georgia is absolutely garbage on offense. This team... Does not know how to play offense very well. Their offense is still stuck. Um, their offense is still stuck behind the chains. And I get it. I get it. You want to play a big physical style of football, you know, under center most of the time, you know, like 55, 60% of the time. Then you go out the gun, you know, about 40% of the time. Georgia is just not that good, you know. When, when they've been exposed, they get exposed really, really bad, like they did in South Carolina. It's just the offense, really. That's just terrible. I did not buy that performance against Missouri. They are not. They say they are. I know who they, I know who they are. They are who we thought they were. They are who we thought they are. That's what Jordan. So if you see Georgia lose this week, remember, remember what I said. Remember, number three, Clemson. Hey, Clemson's going to ACC championship. They've already wrapped, wrapped up the division and stuff like that um, because of Wake Forest being dumb dums and losing. Um, so Clemson, all they got to do is win out from here. No, that's it. They'll be in. Ohio State. <sighs> Ohio State and LSU flip flop. Honestly, that's not even that big of a deal at all. Um, you know, both these teams are just really, really good. You know, I, these two could be meeting up at the national championship anyway, honestly, um, unless something happens. But, you know, flipping you know, flipping the script, I, I mean, I can see, you know, why they want LSU number one because they beat Alabama. Um, obviously, LSU, you know, benefits from Texas getting back in the poll. And... In the top 25, so I mean, it is what it is. Um, Ohio State still feels like you know, the more dominant team, but LSU has you know some of the better wins right now. Um, obviously, Ohio State hasn't played um, the rest of the teams yet that they need to. You know, they haven't played Minnesota yet. Minnesota could lock up the Big Ten West very, 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 very soon, honestly. They haven't played Penn State yet. They'll play them in two weeks. They haven't played Michigan yet. They'll play them uh, in three weeks' time. So the meat of Ohio State's schedule is coming right up. It's going to be beautiful. But I think that's going to do it. It's going to do it for the reaction to the um, playoff rankings. We'll do this again same time next week once the new playoff rankings come on out. Yeah, this was fun. This is this is a fun time. Stressing over who <sighs> who's gonna be in and who's not gonna be in right now. But I don't think Georgia belongs. Alabama certainly doesn't belong right now. But you had to put somebody at number four. I would have just left Alabama at number four. Honestly, I don't think I don't buy Georgia at all. Georgia has the worst loss out of all the one-loss teams right now, so I don't buy Georgia. And Georgia's offense is just not good, you know. You can say what you want to say, but Georgia's offense is 
absolutely terrible. You know, how do you struggle? You struggled to put up 27 points and, and shut out Missouri. You struggled. You don't. That wasn't dominant. There were a plethora of field goals in that game. That was not dominant at all. Stop it. I'll keep saying this until Georgia loses another game, which they will. I guarantee you they will, unless they surprise me. But, yeah, that's going to do it. Um, see y'all next week with some more content. Take care, everybody. Good night.